Welcome to Regist with Moonbeam. Our topic today is all about a starving mother who committed suicide with her three children because of the COVID-19 lockdown. Story briefing. While a nationwide curfew was imposed to prevent COVID-19 infection, there are also widespread of allegations about the lack of financial assistance that should be given to families during the lockdown period. Said, a woman who killed her three children and herself due to the hunger in the lockdown period. She didn't want to die and leave her children to suffer. So she decided to take her life and that of her children. Ever since this post was on social media, there has been a lot of comments from people all over the world. Now let's take Nigeria as a case study. Ever before the outbreak of coronavirus pandemic, the country has been in a, in economic crisis, whereby we have lots of graduates on the streets without job, high rate of unemployment, families eating from heart to mouth, criminal cases, criminal activities on the high side. The citizens were asked to shop, get food and medicines for the lockdown. And I asked, in a situation where somebody has no money in the account, no cash at hand, no money in the bank, people feed from hand to mouth on a daily basis, how then can they stock food for the lockdown period? Now, on the area of the palliative provided by the government, we all know that government made provisions for homes and families, but actually it was not properly supervised. If the government has supervised it, the way they supervised restriction of movement, I think homes would have received more and the hunger would have been on the low side. Now let's get to the remedy to this whole situation. Let's get to the solutions. We've seen the lapses of the government where people are complaining that they did not do this, they did not do that. Some people are complaining that the churches are supposed to do this, instead they are doing that. But some persons are complaining that organizations, private individuals who, are, who people looked upon to help in this situation did not come to their help. But then we've seen a woman who committed suicide alongside with her children because of hunger, starvation due to COVID-19 lockdown. Do you know you can actually be that government that we are all expecting to your neighbor? You can actually be the church to your neighbor. You can actually be that, you know, private organizations that people are expecting. How? By extending arms to that neighbor of yours who you know does not have. I'm not saying you should go and load a trailer, uh, get a trailer load of food before you can do that. With a little indomie in your house, with that one carton, you can give some searches to your neighbor. With that little half bag of rice, one bag or even pentas, you can give cups of rice. If you don't have to give, you can actually cook and invite your neighbor, come, let's eat. Do you know that with this little kindness, you can save life? We know that there are some persons with ego, some persons whom their ego will not even allow to come down. Meanwhile, they are dying inside. Let's take, for instance, a man of the house who usually have before, but now cannot provide. In his ego, he cannot come to you, a fellow man, to say, please help me with some cups of rice. My children are dying. You can actually use smile. You can use love through your wife, reaching to her wife, through your children, visiting, gisting, talking. That way, you will be able to assess or enter into that person, provide and save life. People are actually dying of hunger. Some persons don't know how to open up. You can do it in your streets with the little you have. Share it among, among people in your area. It's not really about virus this time. It's about the hunger. That's all for today on Real Gist. I remain your favorable host, Moonbeam. Stay safe and be of help to your neighbor.